The line is a futuristic, linear city proposed by Saudi Arabia as part of the NEOM project. NEOM is an ambitious, $500 billion project envisioned by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, aimed at diversifying the Saudi economy and reducing its dependence on oil. The idea of taking a population the size of New York City and putting it into a 170-kilometer-long skyscraper in the Saudi desert. The Saudi royal family is among the richest families in the world. According to the American business magazine Forbes and Wikipedia Saudi royal family's net worth is about $1.4 trillion. Even if, still now you're finding it difficult to understand let's make it easy for you. Even if you accumulate the wealth of Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, and other top 17 billionaires then also they would not compare with this royal family's net worth. Oil contributed the most to the wealth of Saudi Arabia's royal family. Before discovering oil, Saudi Arabia was only dependent on religious tourism. But with the discovery of oil in 1938 the entire Saudi kingdom got transformed. Today Saudi Arabia is the second most oil producer after America. It produces more than 10 million barrels per day and sells them to 85 countries. The initiative seeks to create a global hub for innovation, technology, and sustainable development in the northwest region of the country, near the Red Sea. The line construction in Tabuk province. Where the government especially allotted a new zone for NEOM project. It will border the Gulf of Aqaba, on one side and the Red Sea on the other, whereas from its coast Egyptian city, of Sharam al sheikh is only 5 kilometers away, which is already a tourist hotspot. Both the leaders of the country have plans to connect Niam and Sharam al sheikh with the bridge. This will not only help both countries with tourism and with this land connection, but they will also be able to bypass Israel. The line is designed to be a 170-kilometer, about 110 miles, long city with a series of communities connected in a straight line. The vision of Line City is to create a new way of living, a new way of working, and a new way of playing. The city will be powered by renewable energy, including wind, solar and hydrogen power and will reportedly become the first city in the world to be powered by renewable energy. Construction on Line City began in 2019, and it is set to be completed by 2030. The city also boasts a mirrored wall on either side completely reflecting the desert. Mohammed bin Salman proposed two parallel 500-meter tall skyscrapers made of reflective glass which are supposed to span 170 kilometers through the desert. This would be equivalent to two lines consisting of 2001 World Trade Centers, each. Footage released by aerial photography company OT Sky shows work commencing on the line megacity, city is being designed with sustainability in mind. The city will have green spaces waterways and will be powered by solar energy. It will also have a state-of-the-art transportation system that will reduce traffic congestion and promote sustainable mobility. No cars or streets. The line aims to be a pedestrian-friendly city with efficient public transportation. The city will be built in a way that ensures essential services such as schools, healthcare facilities, and other amenities are accessible within a five-minute walk for residents. High-speed transportation. The line will be connected by a high-speed, underground transit system called the Spine, which will be capable of transporting people and goods along the city in 20 minutes or less. And also run faster with the same power consumption and it is the reason the city is designed in a straight. The ultra-high-speed train which is going to be first used in Neom practically. These high-speed trains will travel at the speed of 482 km per hour and will reach from one end of the line city to the another within 20 minutes. The heavy magnets attached to the tracks will push or stop the train with the help of green electricity also, although the wheels will start rolling in the beginning but after gaining a certain speed, the wheels will get 4 inches above the ground and it'll float due to the magnetic force and run faster with the same power consumption. And it is the reason the city is designed in a straight line so that the ultra-high-speed train doesn't have to slow down due to turns. Zero Carbon Emissions The city's goal is to achieve a 100% renewable energy supply, with a focus on minimizing environmental impact and carbon emissions. This will support Saudi Arabia's commitment to combating climate change and fostering sustainable development. Job Creation and Economic Diversification The line project is expected to create 380,000 jobs and contribute SAR 180 billion, $48 billion, to the country's GDP by 2030. It aims to attract talent, innovation, and investment in various sectors, including technology, tourism, 
and renewable energy. Advanced Technology and Artificial Intelligence The line is envisioned to be a smart city powered by cutting-edge technology, AI, and data-driven solutions. This will allow the city to provide high-quality public services, promote economic growth, and enhance the quality of life for residents. Due to the vastness of the area included in the plan, NEOM recently announced plans to also launch its own airline, which is expected to be fully operational by the end of 2024. The airline will allow all tourists, residents, and business partners to travel to and from the megacities under construction. The airline will initially upgrade existing equipment and technologies but plans to invest in next-generation electric, hydrogen-powered, or supersonic aircraft starting in 2026 to offer a sustainable and digitally advanced flight experience. The city has the potential to transform Saudi Arabia's economy and infrastructure, it also faces challenges in terms of funding, technology, and environmental impact. To build Line City, Mohammed bin Salman created a public investment fund that will finance the project, which is estimated to cost around $500 billion. The fund is designed to attract investment from around the world and to support the country's economic transformation. One of the biggest challenges that Mohammed bin Salman will face in building Line City is the scale of the project. The city is planned to be over 100 miles long and will require massive amounts of infrastructure, such as roads, bridges, and utilities, to be built from scratch. As per reports in the architecture magazine Design, many experts expressed doubt and skepticism about the sustainability and livability of the city. There would be so many physical and environmental phenomena that would have to be dealt with to achieve the incredibly minimal and singular character that the renderings propose. Line City is a city of the future, with technology woven into every aspect of life. From smart homes to automated waste management, the city is designed to make life easier and more efficient for its residents. So what do you think? Now that construction has started, will this project succeed in some way? Will people actually live there in the future? Or will this project turn into an abandoned mega project? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and supporting our videos and we'll see you in the next one.